Hi everyone, right, today I'm going to show you how I made um, my my swaps. Um, I have, uh, when this goes out, um, I should be on my um, Pootles um, weekend uh, retreat. Now, like many of you who watch, oh look at my hands, That's you might have seen my dying um, um, Baker's Twine uh, video that I have actually just filmed. Um, ooh, that's why you wear gloves. Um, so like many of you have probably watched lots and lots of Stamping Up people and they go to on stage events and, and they make lots of swaps and um, and they show you all the ones and that they've got back from the event and I've, I've watched those for a couple of years now and I am, I can't begin to tell you how excited I am to be taking part in one myself um, because I am a member of the Pootles team. Um, Sam is my Stamping Up grandma probably um she'll probably love me for saying that um and crafty caroline is my craft uh stamping up mum and um, that's who i signed up with um so these are the little things that i have made um for my swap um these are uh little oh, not getting the light here um these are um little um put this lamp on oh no that one's too bright oh there we go uh, these are little boxes um, made out of the um, current um, in colour. Um, this is um, Lemon Line Twist and the Eastern uh, Palace uh, papers. Um, you have to make it out of sort of current stuff. And then this is the um, Hooray um, Balloon from Happy Birthday Gorgeous Suite. And um, I chose the hooray because I am literally going, <coughs> excuse me, hooray, I'm going to do a swap. Um, so um, what I, because uh, everybody likes chocolate, I guess that would be, um, so I, I bought these little mini smarty boxes and um, made a box. I tried all sorts of different things that I might have um, done. I made a little bag, gift bag. Um, with it but I just wanted I'm making 43 of them so I wanted it to be sort of fairly easy to do um, and um, so I'm going to show you how I did it and I'm also because I'm a, a new demonstrator I sort of limited amount of, of, of stuff that I had so I wanted something that wouldn't use an awful lot of, of my um, stash so I'm going to do this one this is uh, Tranquil Tide and you can actually get out of one piece of cardstock you can get four of these boxes so they were actually really economical so if you're doing um, birthday parties um, for your children or even you know wedding favour boxes you know you don't have to put Smarties in you can put something else in um, this is really you know quite economical so the way it did it I have my stamping um, board um, I've now got terrible shed on turning that one off. My stamping board um, marked up where half um, it is, which is, is, is four and one eighth. So I don't have to think about it because I've just marked it that way. So I just cut it in half and then cut it in half again at four and one eighth. So you can get four of these, as I say, out of um, a piece of cardstock and then for the cover I just cut um, a piece of cardstock that's two inches wide and I've done it by by five inches it could actually be a smidge uh, shorter so out of one 12 by 12 piece of cardstock um, you can get 14 of these um, so um, again I only used a couple of sheets of this as well, so it, you know, it wasn't very much. And then when you've cut out your four uh, pieces, you then get, I can't find them, you then get a stack of spare bits. If I show you with this one, if I cut my second one, And then you get out of every piece of cardstock, you get this spare bit, which is really good for doing your envelope. So there's my, just see my stack now. So I've got loads of these, which I can now use to mat and layer on cards. Um, and I might even work out how to make a little box out of this. But this is what I used to like, cut my cut my balloons out of. So that's really cool. Right. So 
then I, I made a little prototype. Um, let me see this. Um, so you've got four and one eighth by four and one eighth, and then you score it two and three on the envelope punch board, because that's what I am um, using. I did experiment um, with lots of different sizes until I got the size I was happy with. Some of them I made that were slightly too big and um, there's a, a, a slight gap which I wasn't so happy with. Um, so I found this was this was the this was the way to go. This was the one that um, did it the way I was happiest with. So so we stamp and score at two and then three. And by doing an inch apart, that gives you a, a three quarter of an inch gap there, which was just right for the box. Now I sat one night watching telly and um, bang most of these out. I have to say that after a while, pushing that punch down hurts. Well, it hurts me, but then I have hand issues, I guess. If you don't, then it won't. You might notice this one is um, not grey like the um, one in the catalogue. That's because I already had an envelope punch board before I joined Stamping Up. Um, and this one's the me on memory keepers, but it's exactly the same. And I'm just rounding these two ends. I'm not going to bother rounding the other two ends because I'm actually going to cut them off. So that gives you a nice little rounded. That's why I like this board because you get a nice corner rounder with it as well. So that's us done with the envelope punch board. And now we just need to um, score all these, burnish rather, all these edges. I have taken away my glass mat. I don't know if that sort of noticed the difference in terms of not so much noise. Um, I just thought I'd have a look. I've slightly changed my lighting as well. Um, so I don't know how I'm going to like that. Right, so I want to cut the end off. So what I did is I'm just measuring it up to that sort of crease there, going slightly the other side and just snipping. It's not a precise, oops, it's not a precise science. And that'll do. And then, I'll get my snips for this. We just want to cut down the end here. So I want to cut down there and then wedge in. And do that on each of these smaller ends. And they're going to be the tabs for folding over. And that's that. And then what I did was I decided which one went further enough. I think that one goes further. So I folded it like this and I'm just going to apply some glue around the edge of that one and glue around the edge of that one. And I'm using Tombow for this. I prefer wet glue um, on boxes. It's a bit stronger, you get a bit of wigglage. You can of course use fast fuse, um, but um, I am not that great with fast fuse and I will be having my fast fuse lesson. Um, at the weekend. I got a little bit too much there. I'm just going to scrape it across with my lolly stick. But yes, we're having a bit of a fast fuse lesson because um, there's quite a few of us that struggle with it. And uh, so hopefully by the end of this weekend, I will actually know how to use my fast fuse properly. And then maybe some of my videos will be a bit quicker. So that's that. I'm just going to wipe off some of this excess 
they squeeze a bit too hard there. And then I'm going to take my piece uh, that I've already cut out of two by five inches. Oh, I need to get a, it's easier if it's already got your smarty box in. Oh, I would choose a box that I can't get it out of. Um, so these are from Lidl and you get um, 18 in a in a packet. So I bought two packets, 36 at the time when there was only about 30 of us going but there is 43 of us going now so I have to go and uh, get some more. And then what I do did was that's the back which looks a bit messy so I've lined that up on the edge there and then I'm just going to fold it round and crease as I go. So we got to that there. I've actually got slightly more than I need. I'm just going to cut that down as tad. And that's what's going to go on the inside and that's the bit on the outside so it kind of goes to the edge so it looks a bit neater. And then on that's where I'm going to apply and as this is um, paper, snails enough. So I'm just going to put a couple of bits of snail down the edge there and fold it over and that's that and then I take I'm gonna do um, very vanilla which matches the back there and I'm gonna get my this is the gorgeous Happy birthday, gorgeous. Lots and lots of things to choose from there. And I say I use the hooray because I'm literally going, hooray. Um, I'm so excited about this weekend. Um, I'm going to use um, Tranquil Tide on this one. I've, most of them I've done in Dapper Denim, but I thought this one, um, I'm going to be different. I'm going to do it upside down because that's the way it is on the punch and then I'm going to get my balloon my balloon punch here I love this punch use it loads and then stick it in there match it up punch and that's that and then just one little dimensional stick it on the back Make sure it's the side without the seam. And I just stuck it on on the jointy, jointy angle. And then I just want a little bit of a bow. And you might have seen my video on me dyeing uh, Baker's twine. Um, so I have experimented with different ways of doing this. Tying a little bow is really really hard on this one i tied a little bow can't begin to tell you how hard that was and then i've experimented with um, glue dots i've experimented with the foam glue pen and i think a little bit of tombow is the best so blob of tombow on the corner there and then using my paper piercer which do you know i reckon it like it sees me press play and then it just runs away. There, found it. So, not play, record. So, stick that across like that. Do a little twiddly bit. Hold it in place. Do another little twiddly bit. Make a figure of eight. Come in the other way. And that is it. Just hold it there for a little bit. And there, I've done about five of these bows. So I've got a way to go. Another 38. So we're currently watching um, House of Cards on Netflix. So 
that'll be me tonight. Another episode of House of Cards. Sticking on these blessed bows. Cursing myself for thinking no bow was okay, not okay, and needing a bow. So that's it. That's all there is to it. So I hope you like that. Uh, pop over to my, my blog and I'll have details of dyeing the twine and making the box. And um, I'll show you some of my uh, goodies that I get back from the event um, when, uh, when I'm back. So there we are. No bow, bow. I think bow is nice. Okay, see you again soon. Bye.